damn cookies are around here somewhere. Uh, Santa, fly the beer. Who are you? Look, a bunch of us have gathered. We want to. We just want to talk to you about something in this room over here. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on with me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Santa, listen. My name is My name is Jeff. Okay. I'm an interventionist. <laughs> what is this all about? We want to. We just want to sit down and talk to you about your addiction to milk and cookies. Okay. It's not an addiction. I enjoy a bit of milk and some cookies. You know, it's a long night. Well, you know, it, it's hurting others aside from yourself. <laughs> Let's start, Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus, I say. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher, <laughs> you're not the person I fell in love with years ago. I mean, I hardly recognize you anymore. Seriously, I can hardly recognize you with all the chocolate milk all over your face. <laughs> I hardly know who you are anymore, partly due to my on early onset Alzheimer's, but mostly due to your crippling cookie addiction. I mean, seriously crippling. You're about to lose your left leg, too. Diabetes, you know that, right? <laughs> I, I've kept quiet for way too long, but I'm finally tired of walking on eggshells. Seriously, there are eggshells all over the floor from all the cookies you've been picking. It's out of control. <laughs> just, just please be the man I fell in love with. Come back to me, please. Hey, why did you wait so long to say this to me? I was scared. No, you did a great job, Loretta. You did a great job. <laughs> Dear Santa, when I suffered from teen health depression, you were there for me. When I thought about dropping out of health school, you were there for me. When I got rejected for the part of Bilbo Baggins, you were there for me. Santa, I know sometimes it feels like you're always in second gear. Like it hasn't been your day, your month, or even your year. But I want you to know, Santa, I'll be there for you. Now, as with most letters that begin, Dear Santa, I need to ask something of you. I need you to put the sugar down. Overconsumption of sugar is doing nothing but causing problems in your life. It's causing your behavior to become erratic. It's withering away your memory. It's like you're not even the same person you were when I met you. Worst of all, as he was saying, the issues with sugar, they're not only affecting you, they're affecting others as well. Remember when you told us elves that we get a raise? That we could get paid actual money instead of confectionery goods? <laughs> How can we be working 20 hour shifts? I do, I remember. Remember when I got evicted from my apartment because my landlord didn't think that cookies were an acceptable form of payment? <laughs> I do. Unfortunately, Santa, you don't remember. And that needs to change. You can't keep treating elves like interns. We're people. We shouldn't have to make absurdly loud noises when we come to clock in so you know, oh, elves are here, let me hide my sugar goodies. <laughs> That's right. We want you to know that we're there so you have time enough to put away the dunkaroos. <laughs> we're trying to save you the embarrassment. I care about you, Santa. So I need you to know this. Cut the cookies, stop the snacks, halt the holiday binging, or else you'll lose your best elf. Yes. All right. I don't know what's changed around here, but in my day, I respected the person in charge. All right. I I I, I answer to a higher power. All right. The guy upstairs. I'm a goddamn saint. Saint of what? You know, I don't need that crap from you. Hey, 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 hey. You know, this is a tense situation. And Skip, you did a wonderful job. I know I did. We just need to listen. <laughs> we just need to listen. Right. Okay, I'm listening. Thank okay. you. How about we hear from your 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 good friend Blitzen? <laughs> <laughs> Taking your car and yeah, the 
damn it was my fault, but listen, it's just hard for me out there, okay? Do you guys know what it's like to have seven billion people believe you're not real? You know what that feels like every day? I, I try my hardest to get things done and make people happy, but they just think I'm just a figment of their imagination. So God forbid, after a long night, if I come home and I just want a glass of milk and a, a, just a savory cookie. <laughs> What are the kids? Linda! Oh, shit. Linda! 